Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a ranking. So if you know me, rankings are very hard for me to do, but I have put a goal for myself to do a bunch of rankings this December for the brands that I have a bunch of palettes from. Uh, and this is one of them. So today we're gonna to be doing Trixie Cosmetics. I have pretty much all of their eyeshadow palettes. I have videos on most of them. I really love the brand. So I'm gonna see how I can rank these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten palettes. So let's get into this. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite soft spot for any makeup and high-end makeup. And I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to the content I make. I just really try to make thoughtful analytical content, be it a review of a new product or using things I know and love. And I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay, so like I said, I have almost all of Trixie's palettes. Um, I just counted again, I have nine. So there's like the like the mini breakup palettes, those I didn't buy. Um, and then they just launched some disco things. I didn't buy those. And I don't have the little holiday like cookie palettes, they, the quads they did last uh, year, but I have everything else um, and I really love them. So I do wanna give a disclaimer before I get into the ranking. I like all of these palettes. I think the quality is consistent and really good. Formula, really like it. I will say that their newest palette, the Horse Girl, the formula is a little different and better but everything else, the, the formula is really consistent, really like the palettes. So this is strictly a color story thing and what I actually grab on a day-to-day -day basis, what I'm actually using the most and what I'm being pulled to. So it, just because something is ranked in ninth place or eighth place doesn't mean I don't like it. Um, none of these are at risk of being decluttered or anything. They're just, I like it, but I don't adore it. Like I love the other ones or something, you know? But even still, this was, this was one of the easier ones, um, but it was like a lot of, a little difficult because it was like holding up two palettes and being like, eh, this one or this one, this one or this one. And I just kind of had to go with my gut. But as I've said before, I am <laughs> an autistic <laughs> Libra with OCD. So rankings are difficult. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight that I'm doing this month. So, Oh, also, I will say I did buy these all with my own money. I am not on the P Trixie uh, PR list. I don't have an affiliate code with them or anything. I don't really think they do that. They do have a PR list, um, but I am sadly not on that yet. I would love to be at some point, but I did buy these all with my own money. So bad <laughs> disclaimer there too. Also, if you're interested in my makeup, this video will definitely go up after that one. Um, it was just a trying new makeup video. I uh, used a bunch of Victoria Beckham and the new Surratt souffle shadows that they sent me. Um, I've used these before, but it's the first time really using them on camera. But this look, details will be in the description box and this video will have gone live probably at least a week before this one. So, <sighs> okay. So starting out uh, in ninth place is gonna be the Girl Talk palette. So I really do like this palette. It's just a color story thing. I just don't grab it that often. It's very, very vibrant. This was fun. I did use this a handful of times this summer for a pop of color. It's just not something I grab very often. I like, I've been leaning in the last year to year and a half, I've been moving more and more into neutrals. I don't know, like been moving into higher end formulas and neutrals. Um, so I don't wear colorful makeup every day like I used to, but I do still wear colorful makeup at least like once a week. Um, but this is just very bright. I will say these are some of the best like bright shadows I've ever used. If you're someone who has had, especially my skin tone, I don't know about darker, but if you're especially someone in my skin tone range, like that light medium to medium tan range, and you have trouble with these kind of bright colors not wanting to work, these are really nice. I really like them. I just don't wear them that often, um, but they're really beautiful. And I really like some of these like bright greens. I really like this lights out purple shade. I've grabbed that more than other stuff because um, it's like a dark, smoky, sparkly purple. Really like that. I like the theme, it's really pretty. Trixie just goes all out on packaging and theme and the quality is really great on everything. Okay, so coming in in eighth place is gonna be their first big palette. So I really like this palette. This was the first that they did in this size. And I think this is a great palette. It's just not one that I grab for as much as others now. Um, when I first got it, I wore wig and mauve mentality quite a bit. Um, 
I just don't grab them that much. But these purple shades are really great. They're some of the best purples I have. The neutrals in here are pretty. I just don't grab this as much as I used to um, because it is that purpley mauve tones. But like, I just, I'm buying the new Viseart palette that is like a purpley mauve, but it's like a really desaturated neutral with some purple to it kind of vibe, which is more what I've been using lately instead of like bright purples. But this is really, this is a really fun palette. And then Mauve Mentality is one of her biodegradable glitters, but it's not, they're not like a press glitter, like ColourPop. They're like a weird metallic eyeshadow with a bunch of glitter in it. They're a really interesting texture, really like these. Okay, so the next palette is another one that I really like, and especially in the spring. And also I will say my mood being at the middle of fall turning into winter here in Seattle might be affecting uh, the, the palettes that I'm picking, but this is again just a very bright, colorful palette and why I don't grab it as much. And this is gonna be the Team Trixie palette. Really love this. This was part of a collab with Katya. I bought the whole PR set for this. I really love this whole collection. Again, very bright, colorful shades. This Showtime shade is actually a really pretty sparkly black. Like most sparkly blacks like this, I feel like you don't really get much of the sparkle, but you do with this one because um, it's that glittery texture. These like mauve neutrals are really beautiful. Um, but then you've got some pinks that I just don't really wear ever and then some bright teals. So I like these, it's just not, it's a very spring color story for me and not something I'm grabbing most of the time, just anymore. So that's why it's going in, uh, what is that? Seventh place? So, okay. So the next palette number six, this is another palette I really like. The reason it's here is just because it's kind of, it's monochromatic and I just don't love monochromatic palettes. Um, and it is the Nighttime Realness palette. So I think their first palette was officially the Daytime Realness palette, but it was smaller than this um, and just a few blue shadows. Um, so I skipped that, but I did pick up this when they expanded it. I really like this. I do think it's not fully monochromatic. There's some grays in here, but it is monochromatic. Um, it's blue, which is my favorite color, and if I'm wearing colorful eyeshadow, my go-to color, blue or green. Um, but because it's monochromatic and you can't do that much more than, like, a blue or gray look, um, that's why it's kind of here in the middle. Really like the quality. These are good blue shadows. Really like these dark blue shimmers for a smoky eye. Um, the gray is really pretty. This Hot Pursuit shade, I don't really have another gray like that. Um, yeah, no issues with this. It's just, I'm not a monochromatic person. Okay. And then next is going to be another part of a collab. And this is the collab she did with, uh, La Gancha Estranja. This is the Extravaganja palette. I really like this. This came out this summer and I use this a lot. It's got a really fun artwork. It's very fitting for La Gancha. And I love the color story. The quality is really nice. I feel like there's been a slight improvement of quality. Like it was like good, it was like really good and then it was great and now it's even better. Um, the neutrals in here are nice, but they are a little pale. These two are pretty pale. Um, so you can do a little neutral quad here with the champagne shimmer. You've got the green quad here and then you've got the trans colors here. Um, the reason this is here is just color story. I grabbed this yellow. I said this before, but I grabbed this yellow shimmer quite a bit. This is a nice inner corner shade, but not all over the lid. And there's only the three shimmers, which I think works for this. I think this is like a perfect Laganja palette, but it's not a perfect Colin palette, which is why it's in the middle, but really great quality. These are some of the best greens that I've used. I just, I, I love it. Um, and I'm very proud of Laganja. I really like how her journey has gone the last years of coming out and starting her transition and doing this and vlogging more and showing people her life. I really appreciate it. So congrats again to Lagancha for that. And then the next palette is another collab, which I do think I really appreciate that two, two of the few, two of the three collabs, four collabs, two of the four collabs Trixie has done have been with trans women. And the other one is the Juno Birch palette. I love this. I have a video on it. I think it's the perfect Juno Birch palette. I love Juno. I have a Juno t-shirt. I have, I've seen Juno. Um, this is great. It's an almost all matte palette. 
there is one shimmer here. And the reason this gets stained a little bit is this shimmer is more of a highlight. Like I can use it on my face pretty well or the inner corner, but I do not suggest putting it on your lid. It's just not enough. <laughs> um, it's a little dry, but the, the mattes in here are really great. Um, also, these mattes are definitely not perfect for my skin tone. Uh, these two are both cool toned, um, and, but in a way that like, they're more of a contour color for me, but Juno Birch, outside of the alien makeup, is a white woman, so it makes sense that they'd be lighter shades. Um, this pink is really pretty, I don't really wear pink very often, but what really gets me is these shades. These are so good. These purples are wonderful, these blues are wonderful. I like that you have a black or a charcoal and a white. Really great palette, really love this. Um, okay, so top three. I don't think these will be a surprise to anybody who knows me or has watched the channel. Um, number three is gonna be the Team Katya palette. So this is the other half of the Tr Team Trixie one. Actually, I actually have the shirt that came with these two, although it doesn't really fit anymore. Um, really love this. It's neutral with a twist. It's very Katya. So you've got a nice neutral brown that I can use as a transition. You've got a deep brown, and then you can use you know any of the shimmers. You've got a really nice blue, really beautiful blue shimmer. Um, I really like this like ready copper. The purple's nice, the gold's nice. I think it's really well done. I think it really fits with the theme of like sports. So you've got gold medal, silver medal, bronze kind of. Um, don't really use the pink. That's like the one shade. Um, and I don't really use chalk it up. I can use this in inner corner, but for Katya, that's like her perfect skin tone match. So it makes sense. But really, really love this. Um, and especially love the lipsticks they did. So if you know me, the Red Scare. If you know me, the Red Scare lipstick and the Scarlet Letter lip gloss are two of my favorites. Okay, top two. So number two is going to be Plant Gay. Again, this was one of my first videos, I feel like. I love this palette. It's green. Um, I don't use the pinks very often, but I do like OK Bloomer because it leans a little more purple and it's a unique pinky purple that I don't really have elsewhere. The neutrals in here work really well for me. Uh, and then you've got green. So you've got like a true green here. You've got a darker kind of foresty green here. You've got more of a teal here. Totally is a really beautiful green shimmer. Um, I Missed You is a really nice kind of sagey glitter shade. Really pretty, really, I really love this. I love the puns. Uh, the fact that there's a shade called Thorny on Main makes me laugh every time. I just love it. Um, I think they did. I feel like this is when they really started to like blow up was with this palette. Um, and then last, but definitely not least, because it's my favorite, <laughs> is no surprise. And it is the new Horse Girl. I love this palette so much. I've had this now for what is it? I don't know, a month and a half, two months? I don't know, but it's been one of my most used palettes lately since I got it. I really love it. It's so good. The quality is even better than normal, even better than before. It's her first like true neutral palette and it's got, you know, these warm kind of orange, like yellowy base shades here. You've got a really nice terracotta shade and this like, clay shade I really love. This high horse shade is a really beautiful brown metallic, and I love a brown metallic. I don't know what happened to me. Um, you've got a really nice duochrome here, and then you've got this really intense duochrome that's like on par with like duochromes I have in $100 plus palettes. So really love this. This had to have number one. This was the first palette from them that like sold out almost instantly too. Like, I had it in my cart, I was checking out, got interrupted at work, went back to check out, and it was like, it's sold out, it's on pre-order now, and then I had to wait, you know, a month and a half for it, and it was worth it. I love this so much. Okay, so those are my picks. Um, let me, <laughs> okay, so that is my ranking. Let me know what you think, how you would rank them. Did you guess how I would rank them? I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. It really, really helps. And I'll see you in my next video.